Welcome back. We got uh, Cell Alpha Suicidal Commando. Uh, wow, my this is feeling weird. Uh, so, I have a topic I want to talk about this time. It's a bit of a fun one. Recently, well, not not so recently, but uh, y'all might remember that uh, Mixer recently, or not? I say recently, and then I say not recently, but recently. Um, <laughs> No, uh, so Mixer is a uh, competitor to Twitch, right? And they uh, they bought like Ninja and uh, whatever, right? Is this thing gonna move? I just I want some some light, please, and thank you. Do I have to like push this around? Is that how this works? Yeah, I think I do. That's kind of cool. That's actually really cool. So uh, Mixer, they they bought, they brought over. Um, so anyway, a uh, bit, bit of backstory. So Mixer is Microsoft's streaming service, uh, competitor to Twitch. They uh, they paid for Ninja and. Uh, somebody else, a couple, a couple of other people, like a couple of big name streamers, right? These big, big guys. They paid for them to come over to Mixer instead of Twitch, and uh, of course, these dudes, you know, they're like, sure, why not, right? And uh, they move over now. In order for them to do that, like they're making big money on Twitch, right? They're they're the biggest streamers on Twitch, basically, and they're getting paid to move over to this completely random streaming service that prior to this pretty much nobody had even heard about, right? Like, they're they're giving up their livelihood for this, right? So, obviously, Microsoft, who, who got them over, gave them a big sum of money, right? It's a, uh, I forget what it's called exactly, but it's a, uh, a minimum guaranteed like return or something like that. Um, forget I forget the exact name, but basically what will happen when you do something like this is uh, a company will give you, you know, a contract and they'll say, "Look, you come over, we give you this amount of money per month and this big lump sum of cash, um, so you you don't lose any income. You might lose some growth." Um, but that's kind of made up for by the uh, by the um, the lump sum, right? So as long as that lump sum is big enough for you to be like, yeah, that's worth it, <laughs> then uh, then you go ahead and you make the move, right? So uh, for these huge streamers making tons of money, like these guys, you, ninjas ninjas not making ninjas ninjas quite wealthy. I'll, I'll put it that way, right? Like he's not he's not in any trouble financially. Right, uh, you you look at these huge guys who are moving over. Like the, the the amount of money that must have traded hands there is is just astronomical. Um, but yet they did it. I don't like this room. This room scares me. I'm gonna toss a little nade right there. I do not like this room. This room scares me. This room is horrible, dude. Holy cow. These walls close in on me only when I'm standing here. Wow, that room is rough. <laughs> I should not have gone for the grenade launcher there. I should have gone for like a stoner or a Tommy gun or something. Wow. So anyway, the like Ninja and, and Trout and, and all of these guys, whoever whoever went over to Mixer, um, like they're they're making big money already on Twitch, and so if they get moved over to uh to, if they get moved over to Mixer, then, you know, obviously, that, that lump sum must have been huge. It was just an enormous amount of money that, that went, that traded hands, that Microsoft paid these guys to, to move over. And, uh, recently, they announced that they're, 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 they're not doing it anymore. Like, Mixer is shutting down or whatever, they're being bought by Facebook, so Facebook is gonna run it, and it's gonna be, like, Facebook streaming service now, and I'm just... The, the, oh my god, I don't like this. This is probably not so great for your videos. This is bright. Holy cow. Um, 
But I'm, I'm like, just looking at it, like the amount of money that must have traded hands for them to just get shut down like not too long later. I do not like this either. This is bright and confusing. I guess that's the point, but... God, it's bright. It is so bright. Holy cow. The amount of money that was, must have traded hands for them to just shut down, it's just... It's kind of funny to me, right? Because they, they spent this this huge amount of money investing in it. And then uh, now they're they're shutting down. I don't know if they sold or if they're just shutting down and working on um, a partnership with Facebook now. I don't know the whole story, but it's just... I mean, that's what happens generally when uh, when stuff like this exists. When when you're paying these huge dollars for um, for these people to come over to your platform instead of somebody else's, when you're paying that huge amount of money, you need to have a good revenue source in order to, to be able to back that up, right? And Microsoft obviously does, but like they're Microsoft, they're doing fine financially. Um, but like you, you, you need to be able to also expand that and make enough money on that platform to be able to, to make it back. Otherwise, like it's just a stupid purchase and obviously they're not dumb. So I'm thinking that what happened is they, they got the users over and now they're going to move it over to, to a different platform, you know, kind of like a bait and hook or bait and switch, you know, make people, is it closing on me still? Yeah, it totally is. Would I get crushed here? Probably, right? <laughs> I'm not going to, not going to try it. So they, uh, well, I didn't even get enough money for the next gun. Goodness gracious. Uh, we'll go for an AK-12, I think. It's an okay weapon. <laughs> okay, it's like the best, like, tier 3 weapon or whatever in the game. Well, I won't say the best tier 3 weapon in the game, but it's one of the better ones, right? Definitely. This is just the same thing, but dark. This is a cool map, but, like, these walls are going to close in on me, right? Yeah, it's just the same thing, but dark. It's just the dark version of that last map. Anyway, I thought it was—I thought it was kind of funny. It's the amount of money that that trades hands there, and then for them to just shut it down. Let's see. I'm doing laundry right now. My, uh, my sister's out until 12.30 or 1.30 or so. Um, going and visiting my grandparents, making sure everything's good. And uh, that's I usually like doing laundry when I'm home alone. Because uh, it's just easier to not have to worry about like, okay, what am I going to wear when I'm doing laundry? I'm like, eh, just like don't. <laughs> and then uh, I just get to do all my clothes and it's, it's more efficient that way, right? This gun is fun. It's a good weapon, but it's uh, the spread is kind of hard to control, and uh, the recoil is kind of bad. Not my favorite weapon, but it's a good weapon. It's it's a favorite amongst like people who are good at this game as Commando. But in my opinion, it's uh, it's not as good as the the M203 or or the uh, the 501. In my opinion, Commando gets played with cross perk weapons, or alternatively, the Stoner. The stoner is also good. If you're playing with something else, and I think that you're just you're fooling yourself. So I'm doing laundry right now, and uh, it's funny because these days I don't wear like real clothes as much. So normally on a nor on before pre-COVID, you know, pre-apocalypse, my laundry would generally get done when my like work uniform or my like jeans or like something that I would wear generally speaking outside when uh, when that was uh... actually we'll just sell that who cares it's fine um, when something that I would wear outside outdoors was uh... was dirty and I, I needed you know clothes to wear outside um, then I would go and do laundry. Whereas now, with COVID, since I'm not leaving nearly as much, um, 
oftentimes when I do laundry, it's because I'm out of pajamas. And I'm like, well, I could just not wash it, but I do want to be somewhat, you know, clean and not gross during the apocalypse, you know? Wow, you can, like, reload cancel way earlier than I have been, eh? Like, you can go, like, right about now. Even earlier, maybe? I don't know. I've, I haven't internalized the reload cancel on this so much yet. But it's super important, that reload canceling. You know? Reload canceling is, like, how you play the game. Like, yeah, right there, that was, a. Uh... I'll, I'll put it on intentionally. So I'm back on the, the whole, like, sometimes I feel like I have a, a Canadian accent and other people disagree with me. So I'll put on the the accent as I hear it, right? So sometimes I kind of talk like this, and I feel like this is kind of a, a bit of a more Canadian accent, but I'm not really sure. Sometimes I just talk like that normally, though, so I'm not sure. It just kind of happens, so... I'm not sure if it's Canadian accent or somewhere else or something I picked up from like video or whatever, but I don't know. But it happens sometimes when I'm uh, when I'm just talking and it comes out and uh... it's not like people around me talk like that either, though. So I, I really have no idea where it comes from. But when I was listening to the video, it happens like all the time. Why are you swerving all over the place? It happens all the time in the video. If you pay attention, you'll be able to hear it, but... Have you checked your ammo? It's not, uh, not a big deal, anyway. I mean, why would it be a big deal, right? Who cares? You talk funny. Oh, uh, you know, I was on a... I've only been on a plane once. Well, no, like twice. Three times? Four times? I don't know. I only went on a trip that required flight <laughs> once. I don't know how many planes we took on that trip. I was young. It was, you know, 13 years ago now. I was, I was a wee little lass. Um, so I went on a plane once, and we had, we had Canadian money. Cause we're going, we're, we're Canadians. We have Canadian money. Canadians do, in fact, use Canadian money. And we we're going on a trip to Disneyland. So we we're going to uh, California, and we we're on a plane to. I don't know, LA, I think. Um, is that where Disneyland is? No, it's in, uh, Disneyland is in... Where is Disneyland? I don't think it's in LA, right? It's in... I don't know, I can't remember the name of the place we were in. Uh, anyway, we were, we were in some place in California. We, we got off the, at the, the LAX or whatever, I think. And, uh... It was hot for one. Like I, I, that, that's one of the things that I remember from, from that trip. It's, it's one of the most prominent memories from that trip for me. Is, is it was hot. <laughs> the, the heat was just incredible. I remember we were sitting in a, in a restaurant just by our hotel, that we were uh, staying at. Oh, the other, there's another part that I actually remember very vividly, but I'll, I'll get to that. So we, uh, you can just leave now. Um, so we we, uh, we were sitting in a restaurant, and I remember all of us complaining about the heat. We were wearing like that was that was around the time that uh, Crocs started to be popular, like those little um, weird. I don't know. My dad calls them clogs. The rest of us call them Crocs. I don't know which is correct, um, but they're like weird sandaly thingies that are like rubbery and all. Hole filled with holes and stuff. That was around the time that those started getting popular. So we were wearing those pretty much the entire trip. <laughs> Just the four of us, pretty much the entire trip, we were wearing these these Crocs or whatever. And um, we were sitting in a restaurant. I forget what restaurant it was. I think it might have been a white spot. Maybe maybe a white spot. I can't remember. Uh, we were sitting in a restaurant. We were complaining about the heat. I was complaining about the heat a lot. My parents were like. Just shut up already. <laughs> I must have been annoying them a lot. But it was hot. And uh, I complained about the heat a lot. 
I enjoyed the, uh, at Disneyland, there was a lot of rides that had water. I really like those rides, let me tell you. Cooled me off nice and nice and good. Um, but it was, uh, it was good fun. I definitely enjoyed it, anyway. Does she spawn there? Does she spawn there? Yeah. It was, it was a fun trip, ultimately. But, just hot. The other thing that I remember vividly is, um, why are you able to shoot me through the corner, dude? That ain't cool, bro. Also, we cannot run fast enough to get around these corners in time. Come on. Let's go see if we can't chip her out. The other thing that I remember is I was sitting in the hotel. I was on my, uh, my designated bed for the hotel. Oh, I whiffed that one. Sitting on my designated bed for the uh, the hotel trip, and um, oh, this is working pretty well though. She kind of comes around and gets stuck on the wall. That's what you get for being all dumb. I was sitting on the bed and I was trying to put on TV. I forget what I was trying to watch. Probably Berenstain Bears at that time. And uh, the channels sucked for one. Like American TV back in in 2007 was bad at least whatever TV we got in the hotel it sucked it was it was really really bad I remember just being so bothered by it because yes yeah, as, as a, I was 12 years old at the time in 2007 and I'm uh, you know sitting in the, my my our hotel room and I can't do anything else not like a hotel is a fun place to be normally, right? Like, I'm with, with my mother, my father, my sister, who's, like, seven at the time. Like, it was, it was, a uh, all in all, not, not a particularly fun experience sitting in the hotel room. It was, it was mostly about the, the whole not being in the hotel room, right? Like, that's, that's why we went, wasn't for the hotel, right? Um, we stayed at the, uh, I can't remember the name. It started with an A, I think. It was like right next to Disneyland. Like we could see Disneyland from our window, but it wasn't a particularly expensive hotel. Somehow. Right, I have... Shoot! Uh, use, use this nade, please. Keep using these nades. Get me up. Get me up, please. Anaheim Hotel, I think it was called. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of it. I think it's the Anaheim Hotel. Um, back in 2007, anyway, it wasn't a particularly expensive hotel, but it was very, very, very close to Disneyland. And, uh, they had horrible TV. I remember, I remember whining about that a lot as a, as a child. Because you had nothing else to do. We had to sit in the hotel for, like, hours every day. Because, I mean, there's only so much walking around and, and being out in that California heat that you can do, right? You have to go inside at a certain point. You just, I'm pretty sure it's, like, legally mandated anyway. Right? Like, you have to go inside. You will die. Come on. That was so close. We were so close. Oh, I even killed her in the... <laughs> oh. Okay. So that was the other thing that I remembered was just the, the TV sucking. American TV in 2007 sucked. I don't know how it is now, but... If you're American, I feel bad for your TV. I don't watch TV anyway at all these days, but like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.